Hi, I'm Miss Antar and I run the Palps Near Space Balloon Project. It was a project started about five years ago with Alan Hado and me. Essentially, our aim is to be the first cyber school, in fact, the only school in Pennsylvania to make it to near space. This year, with the help of uh, certain teachers from PALCS and the New Jersey Battle Crew Amateur Radio Club, we were able to do a fourth launch. Um, essentially, the crew is the reason we're able to redo this each year. They're the reason we're able to track and chase down a balloon and recover it. They volunteer their time and their equipment and they've donated quite a bit to the experiment and the project couldn't happen without them. The payload, essentially a styrofoam box. Previous years we've had scientific equipment on to measure things like UV rays and barometer, temperature, light. The range for near space would be between 60,000 feet to 100,000 feet. So in, within a couple hours, if it had reached in that range, we would have gotten to see the curve of the Earth. So onboard equipment, on the payload this time around, we just had, I included two cameras, one to get the curvature, if we made it within the 60,000 feet to 100,000 feet. A beacon that was programmed in Morse code to say NJ2BB and PALC's project. which sent that signal back to our ham radio crew that could pick up its Morse code signal and get latitude and longitude. An APRS system, which sent other information like altitude, also helped pinpoint its location a little better, helped put it on a map that the crew had that we were able to track without help of the internet or something like Google Maps to pinpoint exactly where the balloon was at any point in time. And to keep it warm, I included as many heat packs as I could. Last time we tried this launch, we lost signal, and that was because the equipment just got too cold and it stopped sending a signal. So when it landed, it landed in a tree. And for a day, we didn't know where it was just because it was too cold. So once it warmed up, once it returned to Earth, it started sending out packets of Morse code again, and we were able to track it down and recover it. Ed, part of the recovery crew from the Jersey Battleship Club, every year makes some of his own equipment to add to the payload so that we could track it better this year. He included a covering for the beacon, something to keep it warmer. It was It's about the size of a stamp with two wires coming out of it essentially and it, when, it's, when it's plugged in it gives out Morse code packets so Ed was kind enough to turn those wires into extend it into a vertical antenna which essentially is just putting straws on the end and he made a box for the beacon that was strapped to the outside that got added to the lid the antennas we just vertically added to the outside so Ed made the makeshift antenna out of measuring tape because it's metal and flexible so that on impact, if it hit anything, it wouldn't damage anything or anyone and it would still be able to broadcast. So we need that flexibility with something like tape measure material because once it lands, we need it to keep transmitting its location so we can safely recover it. And that flexibility that allows the antenna to bend and not disrupt its signal. This year we got to 65,298 feet, which is in near space range, so I'm gonna count that as success for PALCS. First time I think any school in Pennsylvania has gotten that high, certainly any cyber school, so it's a first. This year it landed in a field near the Pennsylvania-Maryland border. We had to navigate some electric fences to get it. It took about an hour and a half using special antennas from the battleship crew called a Yegi, which is a handheld, helps you zero in on the location. So we 
just followed that for a while until we were able to hone in on it and recover it. So successful launch, successful recovery, uh, and I'm hoping to repeat that again in the fall of this year. As always, we'd love to get family participation in this project, so please stay tuned for announcements. We'd love to see you come out for the balloon launch in the fall.